hi everybody i thought i put together and present this video it's going to be a little bit on the rough side as i want to get it out very quickly but um i had a prophetic dream i believe last night uh actually it was a watchman's warning and this was on the 21st of july 2023 related to the rapture date not much i think a lot of other channels such as dr barry ah and others have that out and covered and then the tribulation i i believe that we are about to go into the tribulation and soon afterwards the great tribulation but as the watchman's warning in ezekiel 33 6 i feel pressed on my heart heavily that i need to present this to you i'm not going to contend with comments in the comment section on the timing whether i'm right or wrong or strife with the body of christ but I think this will bear as a witness for you guys or for family members. So I might have differing views from a lot of you. So this is going to be my most controversial video that I put out. But um, please watch it um, just the same as it can bear witness and warning to you or family members to share with them whether uh, the rapture occurs for you, for other family members that are left behind, uh, I want to put this out as the watchman's warning. And I feel heavily pressed on my heart to do so. So without further ado, here we go. So let me start with it seems that we will be coming out of a two year rest period with the end of a seven-year Shemitah cycle as well as a Jubilee year which was in the Hebrew year 5783. So as of Tishri 1, the start of the Hebrew year 5784 on Tishri 1 which falls on September 16, 2023, could that be the start of the tribulation so I believe, as many other channels, this is a high possibility. So as you know, on September 18th through 19th, there's going to be a seven-year plan. And this is also discussed on many other channels. So I'm just touching base with it here, which will be the UN Summit SDG, which is Sustainable Development Goals which will take place again on September 18th through 19th of 2023, a few days after Tishri 1, which is on September 16th of this year. So again, we will not be under the Sabbath year rest, which is a Shemitah year, nor will we be under the Jubilee year, which was 5783. So God upholds true to his laws and his statutes. So they were a rest, but all bets are off starting on Tishri 1 of the Hebrew year 5784. So with the UN summit, the SDG going on the 18th through the 19th of September, and a lot of channels have covered this as well. I believe that will be, in fact, the onset of Daniel's 70th week per Daniel 9.24 and the beginning of Jacob's trouble, which is sevenfold. So with the ending of the two-year rest period and the beginning of Tishri 1 of the Hebrew year 5784, again on sept September 16, 2023, and then the UN summit concluding on the 19th of September, a few days later, I believe, again, like I said, it's going to be a part of Daniel's 70th week, the onset of it, and the beginning of Jacob's trouble. But I also believe that they will be, 
say there will be peace and safety and sudden destruction will come upon them. And with the UN summit ending on the 19th of this year, two years earlier, so at the beginning of this rest period was the La Palma volcano eruption, which was on September 19th of 2021. Two years later will be the very day that they end the UN summit. So I believe that we will be going into the opening of the sixth seal, which will be the great earthquake. And I know this is going to be a point of contention, but that's what I believe is about to occur. And but bear with it. Don't cut out of the video. So but just bear with that possibility in mind. So it says in Revelation 6 verses 12, and this is the opening of the sixth seal. I looked and when he opened the sixth seal, and that's Jesus Christ, and behold, there was a great earthquake and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair and the moon became like blood. So in the 12th verse here, uh, I think we formerly thought that that was both lunar and solar eclipses that were occurring, but there is one situation in which the sun will become darkened and the moon become like blood, and that's with the volcano eruption. And so those events would occur simultaneously. So then it goes on to say in verse 14 of Revelation chapter 6, Then the sky receded as a scroll when it is rolled up, and every mountain and island was moved out of its place. And the kings of the earth, the great men, the rich men, the commanders, the mighty men, every slave and every free man hid themselves in the caves and in rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the lamb. For the great day of his wrath has come and who is able to stand? So I believe here it is describing a nuclear event in which people hide within their bunkers and they see the sky roll up as a scroll. Um, I don't think this is going to be a worldwide global event. It might be over in Europe or in the Ukraine or in Russia. But I believe this is also another thing in which there is a great earthquake when the detonation occurs. And then the sky rolls up as a scroll. And then everybody is hiding themselves. So... And this is exactly what a nuclear bomb uh, with the mushroom cloud and the sky is actually heated to where it forms these rings and they actually do look like scrolls that are being opened in the sky. Then it goes on to say in Revelation chapter 7, it says, after these things, which I just, just described, that... You see the 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel are sealed. So 12,000 from each of the tribes has to occur first. And these are the first that are redeemed. So I believe that we will be here during the great earthquake as well as the first couple or at least first nuclear detonation I'm not saying it's going to be here in the United States, but somewhere over possibly in Ukraine or Russia. So you might say, hey, we're going to be out of here before any of that happens. But it also says in the sixth seal, if you go on to after the great earthquake and the sun is darkened and the moon is turns to blood, the 144,000 have to be sealed first, and they are the first that are redeemed. The 12 tribes, 12,000 from the 12 tribes, and in Revelation 14, it says they are the first that are redeemed. 
but it also occurs will occur before the great and awesome day of the Lord which was also described uh, in uh, chapter 6 verse 14 I know that was a bit repetitive but some of us are visual people like myself and uh, even repetition it says it takes five times for a person to hear something for them to get it so I just wanted to drive home that point so after Tishri 1 a couple of days later as I said and then two days after the or two years after the Shemitah and Jubilee rest will be September 19th of 2023 after the 2021 La Palma eruption so I believe that's what's going to be the great earthquake and the day of the Lord and also I don't believe the day of the Lord is the 24 hour period of time I think it was just in a general sense I don't think it's a thousand years like one day is a thousand years with the Lord but it just lasts once the seal is open then it's open and it continues to be executed so then the seventh seal and also the prelude to the seven trumpet judgments so in Revelation chapter 8 it goes on to say when he and again that's Jesus opened the seventh seal there was silence in heaven for about a half hour so again I don't believe this is a 30 minute period of time but rather has to do with the prophetic year and also a time of Jacob's trouble which is sevenfold and so let me show you what I believe the length of time is for a half an hour which is spoken of in this chapter so in Daniel 9 27 when they confirmed the covenant with many and I believe this will be that UN summit SDG that's going on um, it talks about the covenant will be for one week and most of you are familiar with that but the term week Strong's Hebrew 7620 which is Shabua and that means a period of seven days or seven years and so a period of seven days or a week so in that sense one year is equal to one week or seven days so again in Daniel 9 27 we know that one week or seven days is equal to one prophetic year which is 360 days per prophetic year so seven years is 2520 days so in the sense of getting the half hour of silence for the seventh seal you have to use one day is equal to one prophetic year or 360 days therefore a day which is 24 hours is equal to the 360 days as well then when you have one hour which is equal to 360 days so one day is one prophetic year 360 days divided by 24 hours you get that one prophetic hour is equal to 15 days therefore a half an hour is equal to half of that so seven and a half days but since it's Jacob's trouble which is sevenfold then you have to take the seven and a half days or half hour times seven and that gives you 52 and a half or 53 days when you round it up so therefore the seventh seal the half hour of silence is equal to 53 days so hopefully that wasn't too convoluted but um but take a little bit of time and look through this 
and I think it's not too extremely difficult. Now taking a look at a possible biblical event that might occur, looking at Tishri 1, the new Hebrew year, the Feast of Trumpets, which falls on September 16th of this year, you subtract this 53 days of the seventh seal opening, the half hour of silence, you end up with July 25th, 2023, and that is the Feast of New Wine, or the 9th of Av, which is what Dr. Barry Ah uh, has been talking about, so the 25th through the 26th. So the 9th of Av again. So I think there is something that is going to happen at that point. So with this being the Feast of New Wine and the 9th of Av, which is the good and bad report, as Dr. Barry Ott has been talking about with his, I believe, six-part series, or seven parts with the 4.4. Um, I believe this is a very high rapture date scenario i'm not saying that says the lord but i think it is something that bears witness and i think on the 19th on the rather the 19th of september after the conclusion of the u.n summit that they'll say peace and safety and that will be two years after the date of the la palma eruption that that might be the great earthquake. There might be the left behind who will be here to see it, or we might be here to see it. So also Aaron at Got A Minute YouTube channel, he just put out today, July 22nd, as well that the news media is putting out their UFO hearing stuff that they're going to release on July 26th. So this is a possibly another indicator. It could be a very high rapture watch date. And this will be their delusion. I will put the link for his video along with everybody else. I think that are associated with the content of this video I'm presenting. So prior to the half hour of silence, which is 53 days is july 26 which is the new wine the ninth of av and might be the possible rapture of the bride of christ then the seven trumpets are handed out so at the end of the 53 days or half hour of silence then you go into september 16th which is tishri one and then after that, a couple of days later, is the end of the UN summit on the 19th, the very same day, two years to the date of the La Palma eruption. And I believe will be the beginning of the seven trumpet judgments. So please, before you stop and say, well, I'm gonna be out of here. If you have family members, friends, co-workers or just anyone who needs to hear this message the left behind please share this video out to as many people as possible and um, don't be selfish be the good watchman per ezekiel 33 and share this with as many people as possible so now i'm going to go into what i've had dreams on visions on in the past and i haven't fully on all of them but mostly the first four trumpets and then the last three trumpet the fifth sixth and seventh the woes i'm gonna go by what i presume that they are so with that i'll go from here so let me scroll down so still in chapter eight of the book of revelation Starting in verse 7, the first trumpet, vegetation struck. It says, the first angel sounded, and hail and fire mingled with blood. And they were thrown to the earth, and the, one third of the trees were burned up, and all green grass 
was burned up. So I had the following dream and vision of this yesterday on the 21st of September 2023. So as mentioned in chapter 8 in verse 3, so there was an angel having a golden censer that came and stood before the altar and he was given much incense that he should offer it with the prayers of all the saints upon the golden altar which was before the throne. Then the angel took the censer, filled it with fire from the altar and threw it to the earth. And there were noises, thunderings, lightnings, and an earthquake. So the first trumpet, the angel throws the censer down to the earth. But primarily from what I had in my, in my dream that he threw it on Canada. As many of you might have already heard that Canada is suffering from many wildfires as it stands. So with the censer being thrown on Canada, it wouldn't take much for one third of the forested areas or the trees to be burned, but the rest of it falls to where all of the grass is burned up. So the first trumpet judgment, one third of the trees and all the grass is burned up. Canada is the second largest country on earth after Russia. It comprises 14% of the Earth's land mass, but it's one third, one third, 33% of the Earth's forested area. So that is one third of the Earth's tree and grass. So it wouldn't take much with these forest fires for the angel sensor and what is already transpiring to burn up one third of the forested area, one third of the trees and all of the grass, that being the first trumpet judgment. So continuing in Revelation chapter eight, going to the second trumpet, which is the sea struck. Then the second angel sounded the second trumpet and something like a great mountain burning with fire was thrown into the sea and one third of the sea became blood and one third of the living creatures in the sea died and one third of the ships were destroyed. So what I believe with the second trumpet judgment that I saw in my dream was the La Palma eruption, which will occur likely on September 19th of this year, which is right after the UN summit where they say peace and safety and then sudden destruction comes upon them but it'll be preceded by the great earthquake. Uh, my friend Mikhail over at Mikhail uh, Messenger, his ministry, he said he also has um, the impression of that occurring as well, and I know others have as well. But the great mountain being thrown into the sea that kills one-third of the living creatures and one-third of the ships would be the La Palma land mass falling into the Atlantic Ocean likely on September 19th. Uh, I meant to put 2023, which is exactly two years after the Shemitah and the Jubilee rest from the original Palma, La Palma eruption on September 19th, 2021. I think that was God's warning and the Atlantic Ocean makes up one third of the world's oceans. So I believe what you will see is uh, a La Palma eruption, which will toss a mountain and that new land mass that was formed during this, uh, the La Palma eruption uh, after September, 2021 through I believe early December that will go into the Atlantic Ocean and will be the second trumpet judgment. But before the second trumpet judgment, it will be the Feast of New Wine as per Acts 2. So the coming of the Holy Spirit, so in Acts chapter 2, when the day of Pentecost had fully come, and when they were all in one accord, let me scroll down. 
Everyone was speaking in their own languages, yet in chap in verse 13, others mocking, saying, They are full of new wine. And Peter stood up with the eleven and raised his voice and said to them, Men of Judea and all who dwell in Jerusalem, let it be known to you and, and heed my words. For these are not drunk, as you suppose, since it is only the third hour of the day, which is 9 a.m. And Dr. Barriott has gone into this quite a bit as well. But it goes on in verse 16. But this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it goes on to say that in verses 19 through 20, I will show wonders in heaven above and signs on the earth beneath. And that is La Palma. Blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned in the darkness and the moon into blood. And these are not eclipses. This is from a volcanic eruption causing both to occur at the same time. But this is before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. And so the Feast of Pentecost and the Feast of New Wine has to occur before the great and awesome day of the Lord. So in Acts 2 verses 19 through 20, Peter is referring to Joel. And that is in Joel 2 verses 30 to 31. I won't read this, but you can read this for yourself. And uh, But these are the two Bible uh, chapters that are being referred to. And this is La Palma that occurs before the day of the Lord, yet after the Feast of New Wine, which Peter was referring to in Acts 2. Now going back to Revelation chapter 8 for the third trumpet starting in verse 10 then the third angel sounded and a great star fell from heaven burning like a torch and it fell on one third of the rivers and on the springs of water and the name of the star was wormwood i'm paraphrasing here and one third of the water became wormwood and many men died from the water because it was made bitter. So what I dream for the third trumpet judgment, which affects one third of the fresh water on the earth, is a twofold prophecy, a dual prophecy. So I'll start here with this one. The third trumpet being a great star that fell from heaven like a burning torch, and it was named Wormwood. So in Russian and Ukrainian, the word Chernobyl, which means black weed or wormwood, will be related to radioactive toxic poisoning of the fresh waters due to nuclear fallout. I didn't see whether it was related to nuclear bombs or the detonation of uh, nuclear power plants, but we're all familiar with the nuclear power plant in the Ukraine, uh, the U uh, Chernobyl incident. Uh, if you guys aren't re uh, familiar with that, just look up Chernobyl and you'll see that it was the greatest radioactive nuclear accident. And I believe all the workers that tried to put this out uh, have died from uh, radioactive poisoning or related cancers. And this thing is still hot today. They have it encased in, um, in concrete, in cement, and it's still, uh, they still have to keep water on the rods, I believe. The other part of this prophecy, and probably the one that is probably most needed to know, is this is Satan being cast out of heaven which is the star falling to the earth like a burning torch. So this, the physical sign of this, of Satan being cast to the earth, uh, will be the International Space Station. The ISS falls to the earth. Uh, 
per Malachi 4.2, which I didn't put here, but it's right up here, which is the great day of God, the sun of righteousness, a strong solar flare uh, can kick satellites out of orbit and cause them to re-entry. So that will be the cause of the space station re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. And that will be the physical sign of Satan falling to the Earth, not the spiritual sign. And the former name for the International Space Station when it was first launched in Russia was Zarya, which means morning star. But the International Space Station has a whole bunch of very toxic and poisonous fuel, solar panels, and then the material it's made out of. And so that will also cause toxic poisoning of the fresh water being wormwood due to the International Space Station falling back to the Earth. That being, again, Satan being cast out of heaven, but that being our physical sign of recognizing when that occurs spiritually. So you can read in Malachi chapter 4, the great day of God in verse 2, the sun, S-U-N, of righteousness shall arise with healing in its wings. And you know that the wings are referred to as solar flares. And um, you see that during a solar eclipse. So during a solar eclipse, you can see the corona around the sun, the coronal mass ejection. And these are referred to also as the wings, the sun of righteousness. So I, a, a massive solar coronal ejection will be the cause of the International Space Station to fall out of orbit and e eventually re-entering the Earth's atmosphere, that being Satan cast to the Earth. Now with the fourth trumpet judgment, the heaven struck that's mentioned also in chapter 8 of the book of Revelation starting at verse 12. Then the fourth angel sounded and a third of the sun was struck, a third of the moon and a third of the stars so that a third of them were darkened. A third of the day did not shine and likewise the night. So with the fourth trumpet judgment one third of a prophetic year, which is 360 days, will be removed or shortened. So one third of the day did not shine, likewise the night. So you can interpret that two ways, but one third of a prophetic year, in other words, 360 days divided by three, which equals 120 days, they'll be 120 days shorter. So the one prophetic year will instead be 360 days minus 160 days, which the prophetic year will then be only 240 days long at the sounding of the fourth trumpet. However, here's where it gets a little tricky. The two witnesses will also be testifying or prophesying during the fourth trumpet judgment when the days are shortened. So, in fact, the two witnesses are only given 965 days to testify instead of the 1,260 days mentioned in Revelation 11.3. So you might be saying, how is that possible? Well, there's a few things you have to take into consideration. So first is the days being shortened during the fourth trumpet judgment. But in Daniel 8.14, there's also the time period in which the temple is cleansed. And that is for 2,300 days. 
But it's also mentioned in Daniel 12:12, 12, 12, the 1,335 blessed days, and they're called blessed for a reason. This then gives you, for the temple being cleansed, 2,300 days minus the 1,335 blessed days, that gives you a total of 965 days due to that time being shortened. So this is the time that the two witnesses have to testify instead of 1,260 days. So God's roadmap to the end with Yako gives a good description of that. So I'll provide a link for that as well. So... Uh, but here is his timeline real quick, but I'll put a link to his video as well. So you can see that the two witnesses testify for only 965 days. And this is on God's roadmap to the end, his timeline that he provided. And again, I'll have the link below. So as I mentioned earlier, at the sounding of the fourth trumpet, that the prophetic year is shortened to 240 days. So if you take the 1,260 days minus the time period that the two witnesses have, which is 965, minus the 53 days for the half hour of silence at the seventh seal, you end up with 242 days which is essentially the same thing as 240 days, which is one third of a prophetic year at the fourth trumpet. Now here's the fifth trumpet sounding in which the locusts from the bottomless pit emerge. Um, I did not get any dreams or visions on this, but this is my best guesstimation and of what the word is saying here so uh, anyways it says in Revelation chapter 9 it says the fifth angel sounded and I saw a star fallen from heaven to the earth and it was giving the key to the bottomless pit and he opened the bottomless pit and smoke arose out of the pit like the smoke of a great furnace so the sun and the air, no mention of the moon, were darkened because of the smoke of the pit. So previously you see, you hear the sun being darkened, the moon turning to blood, but here it's only the sun and the air were darkened and no mention of the moon. Then it goes on to say in verse 3, Then out of the smoke locusts came upon the earth, and to them was given power as scorpions of the earth have power. And they were commanded not to harm the grass of the earth or any green thing or any tree, but only those men who do not have the seal of God on their forehead. And this is, they were tormented for five months. And so it goes on to say that they have a king and verse 11, and they had a king over them, the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in Hebrew is Abaddon, but in Greek, he has the name Apollyon, which is the destroyer. So this is going to be the most controversial part of my presentation, but this is my interpretation. I didn't see any visions or have a dream on this, but my best guess on what the fifth trumpet is referring to so essentially apollyon is given the key to open the bottomless pit and apollyon is the destroyer and i believe and it's a star being cast to the earth but i believe that this is actually the moon being cast to the earth because it only says that the, the sun and the air were darkened and it he was not allowed to destroy any of the greenery on the earth 
what's interesting is the Pacific Ocean is capable of holding, I believe, five moon diameters. So you'll notice again in Revelation 9 verses 2 that only the sun and air are mentioned and not the moon. And also, you notice that the Apollo flights were to the moon supposedly by NASA. I'm not saying that those occurred, but they used the name Apollo. And so, therefore, it would seem appropriate. That is a hint that the Pollyon, which is the moon. So I believe, in fact, that the bottomless pit, the star being thrown down to the earth, is opened by the moon, and that being the destroyer at the fifth trumpet. So if you overlay the size of the moon over, over the 48 states, you see that it basically fills the size of the 48 contiguous states. But if you put it over the Pacific Ocean, five moon diameters would be across the, the width of the Pacific Ocean. So in my opinion, this would not be a mass extinction event if the moon strikes the Pacific Ocean rather than land, just like with the dinosaurs. Uh, with that um, meteor that hit basically uh, the Gulf of Mexico that was quite large. It got rid of the dinosaurs. It brought on a nuclear winter, but um, I don't think with that much water in the Pacific Ocean, I think the uh, buoyancy and the depth of the uh, Pacific Ocean It'll cause a mega super tsunami, but I think that it will be able to handle the size of the moon strike in the Pacific Ocean, in my humble opinion. So I think I'm going to stop here with the sixth trumpet, the second woe, where a third of mankind is killed. And at the end of the second woe is when the two witnesses are killed three and a half days prior to its end and then it says the third woe comes quickly and then the seven bowls of God's wrath so uh, because this video is getting rather long and I, I'll just stop here with the sixth trumpet my interpretation best guesstimation uh, based on what I believe is being stated here so in Revelation 9 Verses 16 through 17, this is full on World War III. It says, Now the number of the armies of the horsemen was 200 million. I heard the number of them, and that's John the Revelator. In verse 17, it says, And thus I saw the horses in the vision. Those who sat on them had breastplate of fiery red, hyacinth blue, and sulfur yellow so i believe in my opinion that the fiery red represents russia and china or one or the other if not both versus the ukraine which has the hyacinth blue and sulfur yellow flag for their nation so i think this is what is going to end up killing a third of mankind uh, with the two million, 200 million men army. So uh, that's my in quick interpretation of the sixth trumpet and the second woe. And then that towards the last three and a half days of this sixth trumpet judgment is when the two witnesses are killed. And three and a half days later, well, they lie in the streets, and then three and a half days later, you see in Revelation chapter 11, starting at verse 11, the two witnesses are resurrected. After three and a half days, breath re-entered their lives, and they stood on their feet, and great fear fell on those that saw them. And then they were resurrected, or they were raptured with the voice saying from heaven, a loud voice, come up here 
and they ascended to heaven in a cloud. And in verse 14, the second woe is past, which is the sixth trumpet. And then behold, the third woe comes quickly, that being the seventh trumpet, which is the kingdom of uh, our Lord and his Christ is proclaimed. So anyhow, I'll stop here. Uh, so that's my watchman's warning. And I think that the rapture is coming very soon, maybe even within a few days, if not uh, up until the time of a few days. Tishri 1 after the UN summit, possibly right directly after September 19, 2023, uh, simply because of the great earthquake. Uh, I think we might be here for the six seal opening to witness that before the 144,000 are sealed and um, and they're the first that are redeemed per Revelation chapter 14 the first five or six verses I believe so anytime between now which is July 22nd 2023 the time of this video and I would say late September so please watch Please share this video as wide as possible. Uh, these are the dreams and visions that I've had. The dreams more recently, the visions in the past couple of years. And um, so this is what I'm seeing. Uh, the last part was guesstimations. Uh, my best guess uh, based on what I'm reading in the book of Revelation. It doesn't mean I'm correct. I'm not a prophet and we all see through a glass dimly but i'll share the different links uh hopefully i won't leave out anybody and um but anyways please if you haven't come to the lord please this is the time the time is very very short there's no more time left as far as i'm concerned please come to the lord and get saved if you haven't and if you feel you're going to have family, friends, and co-workers, and others that you need to share this with who may be left behind, uh, that you want to provide this warning to of things that are coming, please do so. And uh, so anyways, I hope that you guys have a blessed day. And hopefully this is my last video. So take care.